Hey, what's up guys? Eric here from Eric and Miles. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about whether the Canon EOS M, the original EOS M, is worth it in 2019. <laughs> So if you've seen any of my other worth it videos, uh, you'll know the structure of this video. I'm gonna go through a pros and cons list, display the shots I've gotten on this camera, and just decide off the pros and cons list whether it's worth it or not. The first point I have is its price. Um, back in 2016, summer of 2016, I bought this camera for $200, and now you could probably get this for $150. What, what I got was the camera, body, the lens, a battery, and the charger which is in my port right now but for that price that that's like an incredibly good price this was my first camera interchangeable lens camera and i couldn't be more pleased with it so the price is a very big point a very good quality video camera the next is its size i just bought a sony a7 they're always smaller than dslrs which i like a lot but this dwarfs the a7 which obviously the full frame aps-c this is my hand this is the camera uh yeah so the size of it is it's super small and like look at how tiny the lens is for comparison this lens is my Nikon 12 to 24 look at that the next is it, it does have in video mode something I was pleasantly surprised about which I didn't know is it does have continuous autofocus the continuous autofocus it's super slow obviously since it's their first go out of mirrorless but just that the fact that it has it is a big pro in my opinion the uh, big video camera beginner cameras like the t3i doesn't have continuous and I did own the t3i for about a year and I did not like that it didn't have continuous so that that bummed me out when I bought it and found out it didn't because back then I didn't really do research that much into cameras but now obviously I do the next one is it's super convenient um, you can put this in a backpack and it nearly doesn't weigh you down at all it's super small can slip it in nearly anywhere and it'll fit another big one which was my main buy the reason why I bought it it does have a mic port and I was not used to mic ports my brother's camera which we started the channel on did not have one a lot of the starting DSLRs like the t6 all the base DSLRs don't have mic ports and that's something that this does have and really nice that was the main reason i bought it was because of the mic board and that should not really be the main reason you buy a camera but for me starting out i really wanted a mic for it not gonna lie the 1080p on this is very crisp and very sharp if you get it focused correctly it's just super impressive for how tiny it is can't really be disappointed anything really for 150 bucks or however money much money you spend with this if you've seen pretty much all the videos i shoot from this angle i put this tripod up there i mount this on there and that that's what we shoot all the reviews on pretty much i'm, I'm really pleased with it it's super sharp and that is continuous AF. It does have face tracking and a bunch of other things another thing is is it has a touch screen that has tap to focus the tap to focus is actually not too bad it does take a second to focus because it's obviously older and another pro is lenses for this are pretty cheap and a bunch of and like cages accessories for this are super cheap especially batteries batteries are pretty pretty affordable unless I can think of something else that is pretty much it for the pros now let's get into the Cons. The main one is it does not shoot 60 frames uh, 1080, but honestly, what can you expect? It's $150, 30 is the best you're getting, and I'm fine with that. It does shoot 60, 720, pretty pleased. If you need to use it, it's fine. But uh, yeah, so no 60, and that's that's a, that's a con, but I'm not really too disappointed with the price. Another one is its battery life. When I bought it, I only had one battery, and the batteries last about 45 minutes if you're filming. So like the next day, I purchased extra batteries and I have three and the continuous autofocus like like I said the fact that it does have it is a pro but that it's super slow kind of stinks but like that's not that's not too bad uh, okay so this one I was kind of torn about because there's pros about it and there's cons but the fact that there's no viewfinder you can buy an EVF viewfinder and slide it on the hot shoe but that's pretty expensive and I don't never wanted to buy that when I was um, starting out and now I don't even need it I mean on a sunny day you kind of got to hold your hand over it to give it shade make it visible and the, for last it's low light so the low light on this is pretty bad I'd say it's only usable up to 800 and then once you get to 1600 it's like uh, uh, that's pretty much it for the pros and cons list. Um, so is it worth it? Personally, I use it in 
a studio. I use it as my studio camera. And if you're only gonna use it for that, I'd say yes, it is. But if you're like gonna go out and shoot with it all day, photography, no. To the beginner videographer, 100% yes. This is worth it if you're just beginning. This is a great first camera. It has everything you need. 72060, uh, mic port, continuous AF, good lens for how cheap the kit is and how tiny it is. Uh, it was just a great, really great starting camera for me. It really got me hooked on videoing, and now I own a full frame. So, so yeah, it's worth it if you're gonna shoot studio videos or if you're a beginner. That's that's the outcome of this video. If you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Check out some of our other videos, and see you next time.